Hi guys, welcome once again to uh, Gaz Labs. Today we're going to be looking at the DV Mega DV Stick 30. Um, we're going to be looking at where to find the instructions, where to find the software. I'm not going to show you how to install the software because it's fairly easy. You just follow the, the on-screen prompts. I've already got it installed. I'm going to show you how to set the stick up. Um, with the software and how to actually get it to connect to your microphone and your headphones or speakers whichever you like and that's pretty much it um, so I'm going to take this opportunity to say please subscribe we're up to 170 subscribers now um, things are really sort of ramping along and, I, I'm, and I'm absolutely loving it this is really good fun and I didn't realize the um, level of support from from some some people have just been absolutely brilliant um, so please subscribe um, make sure you put the notifications on so as the videos go up I'm trying to become a little more uh, regular now with the with the uploads um, because uh, obviously a lot of stuff now is is kind of out the way for me going forward so with that said let's get started and I'll we'll talk about the, the software now first of all the, the thing that you're going to see is that we're on the um, the DV mega um, dot area uh, dot NL uh, website and this is the actual stick that we're talking about now these at the time of making this video they're about sort of 90 90 euro something like that which is about 80 80 90 quid whichever now there's a, a little video here of how to um, configure it um, I'm going to talk you way th talk you through it anyway when I install it now there's two reasons actually why I'm actually doing this this video one I thought it'd be nice to share but secondly that there seems to be a bit of a, uh, a fairly balanced um, people that are either not getting this to work or people that are getting it to work now I'm trying to uncover the reason why they're not getting it to work because you know I, I just can't get my head around why it's not working because it's actually a fairly simple process um, so what I've done is I've installed it on this and now I've just tested it and mine works and I, I just I just don't understand it because my computer at work that doesn't work I'm pulling my hair out so anyway there is a video there, um, should you wish to watch it. It tells you how to set it all up and, and do whatever. Um, but there's also the instructions here as well, and I recommend that. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to pop along to here. You're going to go along to www.pa7lim.nl, and this is where you get the software from. Now, all I've done is I've clicked on BlueDB, okay, and on the Windows uh, symbol scroll down until you get to here and then under the Windows folder and you'll see there are there's probably there's going to be more than one option here um, for you to try now the one I've actually tried here is this uh, 09457 beta um, the reason why I've not gone for any others, the, the others are, they're all pre-beaters and beta's bad enough. Um, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to try the, the, the standard beta one. I, I really want to iron out what's going on. So once you've installed that, once you download that, you get your little thing on there, just unzip it, install it as per the instructions and away we go. Now moving on to the software, obviously it puts a shortcut. Once you've you've installed the software, you can start it up and you get this this little window up. Now, what we're going to do here, we're going to go to the menu side of things. We're going to go to setup. Now, once you're in the the setup um, window, you've actually you've got an area here where you can put your call sign. You need to discover the COM port which the the stick is actually on. So once you plug the stick into a, a USB two port, don't plug it in a USB three port because who knows what it will do. Um, plug it in um, a USB two port. Get the COM number from Device Manager, and then you just put that in there. In my case, I've only got two COM ports, and I know COM one is a virtual one virtually. So um, just hit, you know, it's it's COM three. Um, in my case. Don't worry about all this stuff. You don't need it. Um, you can use TX and RX colors if you wish. Um, don't worry about the frequency. Don't worry about the, the timer and uh, all that sort of stuff. Don't worry about this at the moment. 
and you don't need to change this at this this precise time and i would leave it just for the moment you're going to need to put your dmr id in okay mine's already in there and you're going to need to select probably dmr plus here um probably i would select that actually knowing band data um and you want to change the dmr master probably to to gb mine's changed gru there he is and you want to change this password here to um uh, pass w1 rd is standard i think it's zero um here you this you want to change this you want to choose phoenix f from the from the uh, box or the drop down and i've set mine at 4400 don't worry about the uh, this fusion section because at this time the dv stick doesn't support um, fusion um, and the other thing is i should say that that fusion is kind of a thing that repeaters do um and it's actually the technology, the protocol is C4FM. Um, it's kind of interesting to, or important to know. Um, now then, you're going to want to select this use AMBI, okay, the thumb DV here. And you're going to need to tell it again which serial port from the drop down box. You're going to need to re enter your, um, your ID. And you don't need to use the AMBI server, you can leave that blank, okay? And you're gonna need to tell the serial port speed. So you're gonna need to choose between either 230, uh, 230,000 board or 460,000 board. Um, the new ones are all 460, the earlier ones are 230. So you wanna select here, 460. Um, don't worry about the start up, start, but, uh, start, stop, beep. It doesn't matter. And don't worry about this for a second. Um, and at that point, you can save. Now, once you've done that, you're going to need to tell it what you want to use for a microphone. So here, you simply go into the drop-down box. Now, as it happens, I don't have a microphone installed. Um, so I've left mine blank. But that doesn't mean to say that, you know, you, if you've got a microphone plugged into the microphone input on your computer, then it will come up as a sound card microphone. And that's what you select. Now, obviously, I've got speakers connected and I'm, I'm selecting those speakers. Once that's done, OK, we're pretty much there. Now, fingers crossed, this should actually work. So when you click this serial switch, this should detect the firmware and it has so it's detected that we've got the mb 3000 r attached um and we should now be able to to go into link to d c s six zero zero a let's see we can not link that one link to not link link to r e f Zero, zero, one, C. Okay. And you can sort of see what, what's kind of going on here. Um, you can choose the reflector that you want on D star or whatever. Um, here Connect we've got uh, DMR. Four, and you can hear four, the stick zero, on the software reporting zero. what it's what it's actually doing. Um, let's see if we can find something on there. There must be 006, I can't remember if it's alpha or... Or is it Charlie? I always get these mixed up. Not linked. Link to R, E, F, 0, 0, 6, C. Mm. Okay, well, it doesn't seem very active on there today, but nonetheless, I'm I'm pretty certain it's all working. Um, uh, oh, someone just keyed up. Um, here you can go into your last, your last herd. You can go into the um, ambi sort of section and flick between DMR or D star. You can set up Vox, um, all your gains. And D, you know, obviously for DMR and for D star, and here you've obviously got a, a 
a, a brand nice to look up. So if I did, let's put my call sign in there. Um, no, didn't do anything. Oh, maybe you have to have actually done a call on there or something like that. Um, I don't know. Um, and here you can mute the, the speaker as well if you wish. Um, and I think that there is the... Yeah. That's the actual... Uh, that keys the the, uh, the microphone up. Um, I think you can set it up for space bar as well, I think. Something like that. Anyway... I think we're pretty much up and running. Um, just a little bit of history about this, uh, the NW Systems um, Ambi 3000 thumb sort of stick. This is the same stick that was available um, from NW Wireless, you know, quite a while back. And I bought one of the original ones, which I think was, um, yeah, I think that was 230. Um, and... I mean, I, that was years ago, quite a few years ago. It was about 130 quid then. Um, and it's the same drive that you can use in your Flex um, your Flex radio if you've got uh, one of the, the 6K series or um, and one of the new ones even. You can actually plug it in the USB port and actually run one of the little add-ons on the, on the Flex software. And actually that will give you D-Star on some of the HF bands. Um, I know a lot of people have, that have Flex have, have actually been doing that. Um, it's quite neat, really works well. Um, again, okay, well, I'm going to leave that one there just for the moment. Um, Again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Um, means a real whole heap to me, so uh, thanks again. Um, leave comments, um, uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, that sort of stuff, and see you next time.